Okay, so I thought I would do an on-the-water follow-up of my budget build fishing kayak. I'm up here in Gun Lake, Michigan, about halfway between Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. Been up here a couple of times in the last month. Um, you know, real nice clear water lake. Some of it uh, has some depth. Most of it's these big sand flats, but what I have is a modified lifetime Triton Angler 100, which is a 10-foot flat bottom base model kayak, and I have uh, done several modifications to it that have made it much more of a fishing-friendly kayak, especially for rougher waters or just general uh, stability. So I've got my uh, pontoon kit on the back, which I've uh, shown in a separate video, but uh, the only modifications I've made to it is I've swapped out the pontoons with a standard uh, bumper to a one that can be adjustable with an air pump so I can increase or decrease how uh, buoyant they are, but I've pretty much got them adjusted to where I want. Uh, another cool thing that I put on here is the uh, anchor pole, and what it allows you to do is come into shallow water like I am right now and just drop spike and stay in one position and instead of having to drag up an anchor and deal with all the wet line you just pull the line from your seat and you're ready to go so um, that's a real nice uh, real nice function on it and it's worked out well I mean pretty much all I did was take a couple of pieces of solid plastic resin uh, cut them, formed them, sanded them, drilled a couple holes, uh, and then bolted it into the body of the kayak. So, real happy with that. Uh, did modify my depth finder mount so it wasn't sitting as deep in the water. Um, you know, I was getting, you know, getting a whole lot of shallow readings when I didn't need to be. So, um, the basket system I showed in the other video, I still wish that I had a better... Uh, set of baskets instead of the Walmart brands. They're really flimsy, so when it gets hot out, and, you know, you put a lot of stuff in it, but uh, ended up going with just a standard flotation for the seat. Um, here's Right here is where you make the uh, lift and lower for the spike. Um, I did upgrade the sonar to a Humminbird 197C DI, which is basically a Piranha Max 4 down imaging. Um, works out really good and I think last but not least what I put on here was the anchor trolley which if you don't have an anchor trolley on your kayak um, they're well worth the money or, or if there's a lot of do-it-yourself ones on there I just this was the one thing that I decided to just buy off the shelf and uh, it's great because you can position it exactly the way you want to and you can decide whether or not you know, you want the nose of the boat or the tail of the boat to be, you know, getting pushed around by the wind and the waves. But ultimately, you know, there's one one thing on this kayak is that everywhere I go, somebody comes and talks to me about it and wants to know, you know, where it is, is it stable, how it works. So um, hopefully you like it. If you do, like the video, um, make comments, ask questions, any critiques, any edits, uh, we're welcome to them. So see ya.